For many, the college scene is one of partying and binge drinking, but there's also a group of students who want to get out of that lifestyle or avoid it altogether. That is where NRAP comes in at the University of Nevada. What it's all about in tonight's Health Watch. The painted face on this door appears youthful and innocent, a young woman with a promising future. But Jordan Fugate has lived a life of alcoholism, drug abuse, even prison. So I spent uh, three and a half years incarcerated, mm -hmm. and when I was released, that's when I moved here. So that was pretty good, that's a pretty good clue at 21 years old when you're sentenced to seven years in DOC. Drunk behind the wheel, Jordan was involved in a fatal crash. But her life has started over, in part, thanks to Nevada's recovery and prevention community at the University of Nevada. NREP was developed to really provide a safe haven for folks who are in recovery, because a lot of times when they go into recovery, college doesn't seem like a very safe environment. It's in this center on the ground floor of the William Raggio building, students striving to follow a sober lifestyle can hang out, study, and attend meetings. We've ran 12 meetings a week this last semester, and all but two of them were ran by students. Stacy Mathewson is the primary funding source for NRAP. She lost her son Josh to an overdose two years ago. She's now helping students all over the country. Based on the involvement with NRAP, um, I put out 100 grants to 100 universities across the United States and um, was able to help start 100 programs over the past two years based on that pilot program. University of Nevada President Mark Johnson recently announced NRAP will be officially and financially recognized by the university. It's going to be a part of our student services program uh, that's available to all students on a continuous and forever basis. Students like Jordan Fugate, who found a family of other students living clean and sober. When NRAB opened, I instantly found those people, and I didn't have to hide, and I got the college experience I craved.